New Astronomers, Michael here. Well, it's been a while since my last video, and I think I'm gonna start getting back into it. First of all, I would like to thank all of my subscribers. I mean, unbelievable. I have over 500 subscribers now. And what's even more amazing are the comments that are within these videos. I mean, they are all civilized. I mean, <laughs> who would expect that from YouTube, you know? It just tells me that the videos are attracting the, the right audience. Let me tell you a little bit about this video. What I did was I attended a family astronomy day which was organized by my local astronomy club, which is the Durham Region Astronomical Association, or the DRAA. It's Saturday morning here. It's a nice spring day. Today, the Durham Region Astronomical Association is having a family day. You know, I decided to check it out, see what it's like, and see if I can get some footage there and share it with you here on my channel. They set up their telescopes over at the Legend Center, which is just a few minutes away from where I am. How many people are there right now? There they are. It's a dozen people. During this event, they had their telescopes pointed at the sun. This was actually the first time that I looked at the sun and I saw a couple of sunspots. It was very, very amazing. It's, there were different types of telescopes. Also, this was the first time I looked through a schmidt cassegrain telescope, which was quite awesome. So the mission of the Durham Region Astronomical Association should be to gather like-minded individuals interested in astronomy and its associated uh, avenues in the hobby. With our public outreach events, we bring our love of astronomy to the public and uh, hopefully spark some interest in it from young minds and old minds and medium minds and, and everyone interested in wanting to get into it, for sure. But a good starting point would be with a pair of binoculars and a nice clear sky, get out there and learn the constellation. Join a club, join our club. You know, learn about, you know, have access to all sorts of resources, uh, rental So scopes. this event isn't unique to Canada. I mean, I understand a lot of you guys are not from Canada. I'm sure that your local astronomy club does these types of things as well. So if you're thinking about getting into astronomy and you don't know where to begin, I think it's a good idea to call your local astronomy club and find out if, you know, if they're organizing such an event. I mean, you can get to try different telescopes. Um, you can talk to the experts that are there. I mean, not all of them are experts. Some of them are pretty new as well, so you can relate. So to individuals who are interested in the hobby, that is very much can be done all by yourself. It's also interesting with like-minded individuals in the same room, because the topic is something you both can relate to and enjoy having a discussion with. But it's even better at our Dark Sky site. If it's your first time going, it's a good idea to send out an alert to say, I need, uh, I'd like to meet someone there to just go over the routine of things, where to park, where to unload, where to set up, and, um, and and, and someone, any member that's been there before more than once will be happy to help uh, guide you through that process. For sure. It's challenging for me because I'm a very shy person, but I was able to do it. I mean, if I can do it, you guys can do it. And if you're from the Durham region, make sure you contact the Durham Region Astronomical Association. You can also check out their website at drastronomy.com. Astronomy rocks! <laughs> so there you have it folks, that'll be all for this episode and I'm looking forward to making my next astronomy video. And again, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers for subscribing. Thank you very much. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching.